Good morning everyone and welcome to our class, Art Appreciation. We are now on the week 3, module 6. And uh, we are still on the chapter 2, Art Appreciation and the Human Faculties. Our topic for today is the process of art appreciation. For the learning outcome, we have to identify the human faculties as basis for the appreciation of art. And of course, we have the references the readings okay. and for your analysis please come up with at least a minimum of 50 words for the questions what art field will you explore and why and how can you utilize the arts to express yourself your community and your relation to others and second explain the reason why you gave that answer what is on your mind so what is art for? What is the purpose of art? Bakit meron tayong subject na art appreciation? What is art for? In studying art appreciation, there should be two means. First, there should be a person as spectator, as a spectator or a viewer. And there should be an object or the work of art. So these two should be interrelated to each other. Pag mawala ang isa, eh, paano natin ma-appreciate yung isang bagay? Kung wala yung tao, sino mag appreciate ng work of art or ng object? The So this... Uh, these two means should be uh, interrelated to each other. So we have the person as a spectator and we have the work of art as object. Tignan natin ngayon yung daloy ng art appreciation. ba pag tayo ay nakakita ng paintings, tapos uh, napakaganda ng painting, then we react in a positive way. Wow! Fantastic! Great job! Huh? So, yun yung mga comments, yun yung mga reactions natin if it is positive. Okay? Uh, perceptual. Okay, perceptual. So, those are the sense data and the representations yung pinag-aralan natin a while ago. No? Um, so, we, we see no? and the perceptual elements, the lines, the shapes, the colors, uh, the representations, of the paintings ko ano yung nandoon sa painting emotional so what are the emotional suggestions the feelings no if there is emotions then there is a feelings towards on the paintings intellectual so there is a meaning ha? yung painting na yan ay merong uh, sinisimbolo merong kahulugan in response to the beauty of artworks. So, response to uh, meaning there is a communication and reaction. No? We respond to. And the beauty, there is a value that delights. Okay? The beauty, there is a value that delights of a certain artworks. Yung artworks natin could be painting, a sculpture, or music. No? So, ito yung ating ito yung ating flow no kung paano natin ma-appreciate yung isang art let's take a look there is a question here which art do you appreciate most okay this is the painting of montreal okay the composition of red yellow and blue okay so this painting is this painting a wow or a yak okay how about this painting uh the mona lisa by leandro uh what's this um sorry uh this is the painting of leonardo da vinci by uh leonardo da vinci and he entitled this painting the mona lisa okay is this a uh, is this painting wow or yak how about this one? This is a painting of uh, Duchamp. He, he entitled this painting The Fountain or The Urinal. Okay. 
Okay. Is this painting wow or yak? This is painting of Malivek. Okay, Malivek, white on white. Okay. But is this painting wow or yak? Do you appreciate this painting or not? Is this a wow or yak? How about this painting? This is a painting of a Picasso, the weeping woman. Okay, he entitled this painting The Weeping Woman. But is this painting wow or yak? Okay, just answer it by yourself. So which captivates you most? So among all these paintings, which captivates you most? Is it a painting of uh, the Montreal, the composition of red, yellow, and blue? Or is it the painting of Leonardo da Vinci, the Mona Lisa? Or Malivek, the white and white, the suprematism? Or is it the painting of Duchamp, the urinal, or the fountain? Or is it the painting of Picasso, the weeping woman? So which captivates you most? Okay, saan dyan yung nagugustuhan mo? No? Mapapawaw ka. So, try to answer for your activity. Try to answer what is the importance of art and how it is beneficial in our global situation nowadays. Ano ba yung kahalagahan ng art sa ngayon? And how is it beneficial? How it is beneficial in our global situation nowadays? Meron ba siyang benefits? Lalo na sa nararanasan natin ngayon, pandemic, pandemya. How it is beneficial in our global situation nowadays? Okay? And second, what do you think are the qualities of Philippine art? In your opinion, what makes Philippine art Filipino? So please come up at least a minimum of 50 words. And for your assessment, if you were to add to the lesson, what would they be? Create new ideas or knowledge and share it in the discussion. Second, why do you think this philosophical theory of art can be an avenue for the discussion and dissemination of these realities in our country? How can the recipients of artworks be more involved? Okay, so please come up with a minimum of 50 words. <coughs> and for your reflection, examine the philosophical theory of art that you learned. What significant lesson did you find it personal? And in what part of the lesson did you find it easy or hard to illustrate in the way that you learned and why? Okay, so that ends our discussion for today on the topic, The Process of Art Appreciation. Well, thank you so much for listening.